Go on YouTube, it's your boy LS Shiver Grinder, man. I'm back with an update on the transmission. As y'all can see, I got it under the car, on the jack, two stands. But the more secure way is just get a transmission jack. Especially if you're working on your back and you got to lift up. The best way to do it. I did take the torque converter back off, and I put the uh, the torque converter back in the transmission. Um, I tested all the wiring as far as electrical for the brakes, turn signals, windshield wiper, you know, things attached to the car. The motor ain't been wired up yet. We haven't got the harness yet. Um, I did all the testing with this tester right here. I got it off Amazon. It's called Auto Tester. Um, more of a a better one because it's digital. Gives you an actual readout of what you're testing. Um, I got tools everywhere. Got to clean up the garage. Car been in here for about, I want to say, almost three months. So, going into September, by October, car should be straightened out and back running. And on the road again. After we do that, then you know what I'm saying, we'll work out the the little kinks and stuff that we might have. Um all cooler, uh fuel regulator set up with the fuel pump. We got the compressor we gotta get back on. So I say on a scale from one to ten, caught about a seven right now. Um supposed to get some rain through here. Or hurricane, rather, in about 48 hours. So between tomorrow and Thursday, should have a lot of rain and wind. Um, usually in my area, you know, we get a little bit of flooding, but nothing too major. Um, I've been trying to put out as much content as possible, man, on the car. I try to update y'all every time I get, I do something new or buy something new. Uh, like I said, it caught about 7%. Well, not 7%. It, on a scale of 1 to 10, about a 7 right now. So we almost there. I mean, we got the pieces we need. We just got to get the wiring harness. Get the wiring harness. Put the radiator and, the, you know, all this stuff back in. It's almost done, man. Like I said, after we complete this setup, we want to move on to something else. The one thing I will do different next time, a running car, as, you know, this car was running, I would rather get all the pieces first and then just strip it down, take out and put back in, you know. I took out, put motor in, then I had to find transmission, then I had to find, you know, oil cooler. I just had to find all these parts. And finding parts is easy for the LS, but at the same time, you know, got to have money. And money, you know, sometimes is an issue. Especially when you're doing something the way I'm doing. I could have just went traditional route and just wired it up myself and, you know, turn key. But I want to build this car, you know what I'm saying, so I know what I got in it. And if I'm going to build it, I want reliable stuff on it. So that's so why I took that route. So then I took that route. It's going to take a little time. It's going to take a little money. But... We had to step putting the transmission in. So that's going to be the next couple of videos. Transmission install. Uh, then we'll show you the putting in the uh, drive shaft, hooking it back up to the rear end. Um, we will be going with a. 95 Impala, maybe positive track ring or something out of Camaro to go back into this car. But for now, we're just trying to get everything running. Just trying to get everything running, man. Um, Y'all know we went from the truck intake to an aftermarket intake with a 102 millimeter throttle body. And we're doing the drive by wire setup. So I, have to, I got the pedal installed. And the only thing I got to do is 
whenever I get the uh, the holly, just plug everything in, get everything set, and that's going to control the electronic output from the throttle body to control the 4060 transmission. So, it's work to be done, and we're on the way, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I usually tackle big projects, but I think this is my biggest. Uh, the 240 was my a small project because, on you know, motor transmission, everything came together. It was like take out and put back in. The only thing I had to do to this car was add a front mount intercooler, upgrade the fuel system, and, you know, turbo and stuff like that. But, like I said, it was plug and play with that because the original motor, the motor that's in there now is the motor that was supposed to be in it. But, you know, we got the American version of, mo of, that, of that motor. It was a 2.4 liter overhead cam. And, you know, now it's a twin cam 2.0 turbo. The motor originally went in it. This, on the other hand, <laughs> this came with a 305 from the factory. And as y'all can see, we got the big 6.0 in there. It's a small block motor, but it's a 6.0 liter. Originally, we had a 5.0 liter in here, a little 305. So this is a big horsepower upgrade for sure. Got the ICT billet, uh, power steering pump up top, alternating down bottom. Uh, this belt is like 87 inch belt. Uh, if y'all want to go with this particular setup, uh, that's the belt that you'll need. I think I made a video on the belt the belt that you'll need for that. But uh, this is a little slight update, man. Uh, I've pretty much been on a vacation from work. And I've been trying to get some stuff done. You know. Had to take a mental break from work altogether. Um, but we're about to get back at it with the car, man. So y'all make sure if you made this far in the video like share subscribe leave a comment and just follow the bill because i like i said after this we'll move on to something else box chevy i already got that in my future miss spot i've been uh sourcing a couple checking them out and you know i'll make my move on one as soon as i get about i get this about 98 percent so with that being said man i'm about to sign out uh, get out of this garage because the humidity down here in North Carolina is ridiculous. I mean, you stay out here for about two minutes, you start sweating. But uh, y'all make sure, man, y'all follow the journey, man. Like, share, and subscribe. It's your boy, LS Chevy Brown. Peace.